As we have now, of course, seen and heard also that the provincial council system <laughs> today was introduced to Sri Lanka without uh, uh, there was an actual need for that. There was no need, of course, for that at that time. I, at that time, of course, when it was introduced, I was uh, a university student, I was studying in Columbia University. I remember, of course, there was a massive agitation campaign uh, there in the Peta. And we were attacked from every side, as was, was noted by this Mahasangha also, uh, from the ground and from the air. And we all uh, there was, of course, expressing our uh, displeasure, dissatisfaction for the fact that they were going to establish this uh, provincial council system in Sri Lanka uh, without seeking the consent of the people of this country. Actually, if the people who wants, if the people wants such a system, it is all right. That's basic uh, fundamentals of the uh, democracy. But without the people's mandate that this was established, and now we have seen that after 25 years, more than 25 years of existence, that has become, of course, uh, as we all know, a white elephant. Uh, and therefore, now anyway, the present coalition government led by the major party, SLFP, has decided, uh, His Excellency, the President Mahindra Raj Paksha, that certain dangerous powers of the provincial government system has to be struck, particularly these land powers, the police powers, and also the power that they to, to join more than two, uh, two provincial councils together as a one unit. And those things are, of course, very dangerous uh, powers that is given to the provincial council under, under the 13th Amendment. And the present government, therefore, has taken such a very bold uh, decision uh, for the first time after this 25 years of history to scrap uh, and the rec mere recognition that these are dangerous powers that will lead to the separation of the country itself is, of course, highly commendable. We as intellectuals in this country, of course, they highly commend that uh, uh, stance taken by the present government. So we, the, he, yeah, we are here, therefore, to extend our support and also request the His Excellency the President and also all other leaders of the coalition government just to, if really there's a need to establish provincial council system in the north, well, that should be done provided after scrapping and abolition of all those dangerous powers given to the provincial council system, police, land, and other powers. And also, if it cannot be done, please suspend the holding of this provincial council election, intended provincial council election. That is our stance. Just because that external powers want us to do this, or just because Tamil Nadu, or India, or the separated forces, or the, the, the diaspora wants us to do that, well, doing that means, of course, as it's already been explained, that we give a ilam on a platter to the ilamists. But they fail to do through armed struggle, we are giving it on a, as a bonus. So therefore, the danger dangerous aspect of this provincial government system and its ill effect we have all convinced and we have everybody, even a third grade student of this country would understand whether such a system is of course viable to a country like ours which is very small in compared to the, the countries there are about 29 states in the world where a provincial government system such a federal system has been established and the federal system of course comes into being on two principles one is coming together where, where the country in existence in two in, in different units coming together to form one single structure. It is in such situation provincial council system is all right. Where you know we have seen this kind of situation uh, 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 it was in existence in countries like India, in Canada, in uh, in America. Where you know in India as you know that separate states were there in existence for the long history of it as like you know were ruled by Maharajas, like semi autonomous, sometimes completely autonomous units. And later on, they were all formed. That is also by the colonist powers. So the you know, and then the federal system was established. Same was in American uh, situation as well as in Canada or any other countries. But such comparison is not possible when you consider the situation in Sri Lanka. And also, I, I don't want. To, I'm not going to of course talk more on this matter. But now we've been of course talking about these five dangerous powers that we are asking the government to think about reviewing and scrapping or abolition. But this one more thing which I would like to pay attention, this is very dangerous, which we have not so far 
uh, discuss about. Now, this is in uh, section 154G, uh, subsection 8 and 9 of the 13th Amendment. I will read that so you will understand the, uh, the dangerous aspect of this provision. It says, where there is a law with respect to any matter on the provincial council list in force, in force, on the date on which this chapter comes into force, and a provincial council established for a province subsequently makes a statute on the same matter, and which is described in its long title as being inconsistent with that law, the law that is already in existence, then, this is the most important part, then, the provision of the law shall be effect from date on which such statutes receives assent, and so long, and so long only as that statute is in force, remain suspended and be inoperative within the province. Very dangerous provision. I'll explain to you as to the effect of this. This refers to the old laws already in existence in Sri Lanka with, refer, with reference to the matters in the provincial council list. Now, we have so far not established provincial council system for the north. So, the north is underway, is now governed by the laws established by the parliament. Now, as according to this provision, as soon as the provincial council is established for the north, the laws that is now applicable to the north, the laws established by the parliament of Sri Lanka can come to an end, can be suspended and inoperative. What does that mean? A very dangerous situation where the North Northern Provincial Council can pass a resolution to the effect saying that all the national laws which is now in existence and which are also related to the matters in the Provincial Council list are inconsistent with what they think of doing for the Provincial Council of that country, that, that part. So they will say, no, we don't want this. So we will pass new laws. Then that national laws has to be has to uh, will become inoperative. It's a very dangerous situation. And same provision applies to the matters in the concurrent list also. Section 9. So therefore, I think those are very serious matters that we need to, of course, pay our attention carefully. And as you know, I mean, this provincial council system was established, as I said earlier, in a rush, where there was no discussion, public discussion, where there was no uh, intellectual discourse was taken on this matter, not allowed rather and was established uh, uh, on, on, on passing emergency laws and curfews and so many other, you know. So people could not involve themselves in such a long, continuous and intellectual discourse as to the viability of such a system for our country. It is in co this context that this was established. Therefore, I think we are now in a cross, uh, we are in a very serious situation of the country at, at crossroads. Actually, after the, after the, war, this is the first time the country has again, the nation is again facing such a very dangerous situation. So therefore, our request uh, is Excellency the President and the President Coalition, or leaders of the President Coalition government, uh, political parties, uh, and we uh, to, to stop holding the political college selection until the scrapping of the abolition of all these dangerous, risky, separatist powers that's been given or been enjoyed to be given to the provincial council system at the moment. Uh, if, if it is all right, okay, then we say, well, after scrapping, you can of course think about introducing a new system or whatever, then of course you can think about as to what, proofs, what uh, the structure that should be of course suitable for the country. So uh, I of course uh, um, conclude my uh, brief uh, explanation on this matter, and I represented the uh, National Patriotic University Justice Association. We have been standing to, uh, all um, uh, times the stance uh, on the provincial government system and also for other uh, matters of national interest. Thank you very much.